Hi everyone, in this video we'll learn how to extract metadata from a PDF file. Before we get started, let's review the packages we'll use. These include PyPDF2 and OS. Let's start first by reviewing what PyPDF2 is, and it is a free and open source pure Python PDF library, capable of splitting, merging, cropping, and transforming the pages of PDF files. It can also add custom data, viewing options, and passwords to PDF files. PyPDF2 can retrieve text and metadata from PDFs as well. What we'll do first is we're going to pip install PyPDF2. I am doing this within a Jupyter Notebook, so within a Jupyter cell, I am going to start with an exclamation point, followed by pip install PyPDF2. You can also run this from the command line by just pip installing PyPDF2. Let's run this and import our modules as well. Next, what I want to do is I want to grab all of the PDF files within a certain directory. Let's take a look at our current directory. We see that we have our PDF here. Let's take a look at it. And this is a article that I wrote on Medium, and I want to see if I can extract this metadata. Let's go back to our Jupyter Notebook. In order to save the PDF file into a string, what I'm going to do first is save it into a list. And I am using list comprehension to do this, and I am calling on OS's lister function, which lists all the files in the directory, and we're grabbing all of the files that have a PDF extension. Let's run this. What I want to do next is save this into a string, so I am going to create a variable called PDF. And I'm going to take the PDF list and I am going to use indexing and I am there's only one element here so we're going to get index position zero. We now have the PDF file name saved into a string format. Next let's review what metadata is. It is structured information that describes, explains, locates, or otherwise makes it easier to retrieve, use, or manage an information resource. Metadata is often called data about data or information about information. For example, PDF metadata can include the date the PDF was created, the author, and website hyperlinks. What we'll do first is I am going to call on the PDF reader class, and I am going to create a variable called reader. Next, I am going to create a variable called meta, and from the reader, we can call on a built-in function to retrieve the metadata from the PDF that we read in. And once we run the metadata, we can see that we have it here. And we can also see that it is in a Python dictionary format. The key is the description of the specific metadata value. And then the value is listed here. So the creation date is listed here, followed by the date, the creator. This is the program that was used to create it, the producer, as well as the title for the PDF. What we can also do with PyPDF2 is we can write additional metadata to it. What I'm going to do now is I am going to call in the PDF writer class. And to write metadata, what we'll do with PyPDF2 is create a new PDF with additional metadata metrics. And I am going to create a new file name. I'm going to include in the PDF file name with metadata. And this will be used to name our PDF file. Next, what I'm going to do is I am going to iterate over the current pages within our PDF using a for loop. Then once we add all the pages, what I'm going to do is I am going to call writer again, and then I am going to use the add metadata built-in function to add additional metadata to our PDF. Then what we could do is we can write in the data in Python dictionary format. So this is going to be with the key and the value. And the way that we create a metadata key is we need to have a forward slash within our key followed by the name of the metadata key. Then we have the value on the right hand side. Let's put in some additional information into our Python dictionary. And here I added the subject of the article, which is data science, the date it was written, which was March 13th, the title, the Medium article link, as well as the YouTube link. Finally, what we're going to do is we're going to create our file. I'm going to say with open. And we are going to write our file name here. So it's going to say with met metadata in the name of the file name. Then we're going to write to binary. So for the second parameter for open, we need to specify WB. Then we're going to call the writer and we're going to write the PDF file. Let's run this. 
Finally, what we're going to do is we're going to read in the new copy that we created. We can see that we have the additional information put in here, the author, subject, date, written, title, and the two web links. We can go back to our directory and we can see that we have a new PDF file as well. Let's go back and what we're going to do finally is we're going to remove data, metadata from a PDF file and this is going to again create a new PDF file and we're going to have it without any metadata. I am going to call on the PDF writer class again and this time I'm going to call the variable writer no meta and then for the PDF name I'm going to call it no metadata and that's going to be the file name of the PDF. And like before we're going to create a for loop that we're going to write and finally what we're going to do is like before we're going to print out the metadata information. We can see the only thing here is the producer. If I want to get rid of this as well, what I can do is go to writer and then we're going to call on add metadata again. And what I'm going to do is I am going to overwrite the producer key here. So we can just take this and copy it, paste it here. And what we can do for the value is we can just delete the PyPDF2. And we can see now the producer is blank, so there's no metadata any longer within our PDF file. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. I included references in case anybody wants to look into the PyPDF2 module. I also included video links to encrypting PDFs and merging PDFs, which are YouTube videos I created. If you like the video, feel free to subscribe. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, GitHub, Medium, and Odyssey. Thanks everyone for watching and happy coding.